Imagine this. Small, simple changes to your bedtime routine could help you live a longer, healthier life, even up to 100 years old. It might sound surprising, but the truth is that how you prepare for sleep can make a huge difference in your overall well-being, especially as we age. In today's video, we'll be talking about five essential habits you shouldn't skip after the age of 65 if you want to live a longer, more vibrant life. Aging doesn't mean giving up on living fully. It's about finding ways to thrive, even in the smallest moments. And your bedtime routine? That's where the magic begins. The choices you make before you go to bed don't just affect your sleep. They have a ripple effect on your health, energy levels, and even your ability to enjoy life well into your golden years. I want you to stay with me throughout this video because these five habits are easy to start and can have a lasting impact on how you feel every day. And I want to hear from you. As we go through each of these habits, if you feel like these tips can make a difference in your life, comment below with, I'm a rare gem, because that's exactly what you are. Someone who is dedicated to living a long, healthy, and fulfilling life. I'll be reading through your comments and I'll heart one of them, because your commitment to taking care of yourself matters. So, let's get started and I'll show you the habits that can help you take control of your health one night at a time. 1. Practice deep breathing or meditation. The first habit you need to incorporate into your nightly routine after 65 is practicing deep breathing or meditation. This is more than just a way to relax. It's a proven method to significantly improve your overall health. Studies have shown that stress is one of the biggest contributors to chronic diseases, and as we age, managing stress becomes even more crucial. Deep breathing and meditation are two of the most effective ways to lower your stress levels, which in turn can lower your blood pressure, reduce inflammation, and support heart health. Let's talk about why this works. When you practice deep breathing or meditation, your body enters a state of relaxation, signaling to your nervous system that it's time to slow down. This shift activates your parasympathetic nervous system, the part responsible for rest and digestion, and helps reduce the effects of stress. It's almost like giving your body permission to unwind and recover. By slowing your breathing, you can lower your heart rate, reduce tension, and prepare both your body and mind for a good night's sleep. Here's a simple technique to get started. Sit or lie down in a comfortable position. Close your eyes and breathe in slowly through your nose for a count of four. Hold your breath for a moment and then gently exhale through your mouth for a count of six. Repeat this cycle for five to ten minutes. You'll notice how your body gradually releases tension and your mind starts to quiet down. This practice also helps clear your mind of the day's stresses, allowing you to sleep more peacefully. Meditation works in much the same way, whether you choose to focus on your breath, a calming word or phrase, or even a guided meditation. The goal is to calm the mind and create a sense of peace. It doesn't take long. Just ten minutes before bed can make a world of difference. Research shows that regular meditation can improve sleep quality, boost immune function, and even enhance cognitive abilities, which are key to living a longer, healthier life. Incorporating this habit into your nightly routine can also help improve your emotional well-being. Meditation has been shown to reduce anxiety and depression, both of which can have serious impacts on your health if left unchecked. As you age, emotional health becomes just as important as physical health. Taking the time each night to calm your mind and reflect can help you wake up feeling more refreshed and ready to take on the day. If you're serious about living a long, healthy life, this habit is non-negotiable. The benefits go beyond just feeling good in the moment. They contribute to your overall longevity by supporting your body's natural ability to heal and restore itself. So tonight, when you're getting ready for bed, take a few moments to breathe deeply or meditate. It's a small investment of time with a big payoff. 2. Stretch for flexibility and mobility. 
The second habit that can help you live longer and feel better is stretching before bed. As we age, maintaining flexibility and mobility becomes more important than ever. It's not just about avoiding stiffness. It's about staying independent and active for as long as possible. Stretching helps keep your muscles limber, improves your range of motion, and supports your joints, all of which can prevent injuries and make daily activities easier. Our bodies naturally become less flexible as we get older, and this can lead to reduced mobility, discomfort, and even falls, which are a significant concern as we age. The good news is that even a few minutes of gentle stretching before bed can help counteract these effects. By stretching regularly, you're keeping your muscles and joints active and healthy, which supports balance and coordination, key factors in staying independent well into your later years. Stretching before bed also has immediate benefits. It helps relax your muscles, release tension from the day, and prepare your body for restful sleep. Think about it. When your body feels tight or stiff, it's harder to fall asleep and stay asleep. But when you stretch, you're releasing that built-up tension, allowing your muscles to relax fully, which in turn helps you fall asleep more easily and wake up feeling more refreshed. You don't need to commit to a long, complex routine to see the benefits. Even a few simple stretches targeting the major muscle groups can make a big difference. For example, you can do a gentle hamstring stretch while seated or lying down to loosen up your legs. A simple neck stretch can help relieve any tightness in your shoulders or upper back, which is common after a long day. And don't forget about your hips. Hip mobility is crucial for overall balance and posture, and gentle hip opening stretches can help alleviate discomfort and stiffness. Here's a quick stretching routine you can try before bed. Hamstring stretch. Sit on the edge of your bed with one leg extended straight and the other bent. Slowly lean forward over the extended leg, keeping your back straight. Hold for 20 to 30 seconds, then switch legs. Shoulder stretch. Stand or sit comfortably and gently bring one arm across your body, using the other hand to hold it in place just above the elbow. Hold for 20 to 30 seconds, then switch arms. Hip stretch. While lying on your back, cross one leg over the other, placing your ankle on the opposite knee. Gently pull the uncrossed leg toward your chest until you feel a stretch in your hips and lower back. Hold for 20 to 30 seconds, then switch sides. Remember, stretching should feel good, not painful. The goal is to gently lengthen your muscles and increase circulation, not to push your body beyond its limits. Over time, you'll notice improved flexibility and mobility, and you'll wake up feeling less stiff and more ready to take on the day. By adding just 5 to 10 minutes of stretching into your bedtime routine, you're not only setting yourself up for better sleep, but you're also protecting your body for the long haul. Regular stretching can help prevent age-related stiffness, improve circulation, and even reduce the risk of falls by enhancing your balance and strength. So if you're serious about staying active and mobile well into your later years, this is one habit you can't afford to skip. 3. Avoid eating late or unhealthy snacks. The third habit that is essential for your health, especially as you age, is avoiding late-night eating or unhealthy snacks before bed. While it's tempting to grab a quick snack before heading off to sleep, this can actually do more harm than good. Eating late at night, particularly heavy or unhealthy foods, can disrupt your sleep, raise your blood sugar levels, and even contribute to long-term health issues like heart disease, obesity, and diabetes. Our bodies aren't designed to handle large amounts of food right before bed. Digestion slows down as we sleep, so eating late at night can lead to indigestion, heartburn, and other digestive issues that can make it difficult to get the deep restorative sleep you need. Poor sleep doesn't just affect your energy levels the next day, it impacts your immune system, cognitive function, and even your heart health over time. There's also the issue of blood sugar regulation. 
As we age, our bodies become less efficient at managing insulin and glucose, which is why it's so important to maintain a steady blood sugar level. When you eat late at night, particularly sugary or carb-heavy snacks, your blood sugar spikes, and this can interfere with your ability to fall asleep and stay asleep. Worse still, over time, these spikes can increase your risk of developing diabetes or worsening existing conditions. Instead of snacking late at night, consider moving your last meal to at least two to three hours before bed. This gives your body time to digest the food properly, allowing you to sleep without interruptions. And if you do need a snack, choose something light and healthy, like a small handful of almonds, which are packed with magnesium and can help promote better sleep, or a slice of apple with peanut butter for a balance of healthy fats and fiber. Here's why this habit is so critical to your longevity. Good sleep is one of the most important factors for long-term health and avoiding late-night eating is key to ensuring that your body can rest and repair itself overnight. Poor eating habits can cause your body to work harder when it should be recovering, leading to fatigue, increased stress, and a higher likelihood of illness over time. Simply avoiding unhealthy foods or heavy meals before bed can have a huge impact on your health and well-being. So if you're serious about living a long, healthy life, consider what you're eating and when. Try to establish a routine where your last meal is earlier in the evening and focus on nourishing your body with whole, nutrient-rich foods. Not only will this help you get better sleep, but it will also set the stage for better digestion, improved metabolism, and more consistent energy throughout the day. Remember, Food is fuel, and how you fuel your body before bed matters. Avoiding late-night eating is one of the simplest habits you can adopt, but the benefits will ripple through every part of your health, from your heart to your mind to your energy levels. If you've been struggling with sleep or feeling sluggish in the morning, this might be the change you need. Reflect and Practice Gratitude. The fourth habit you should incorporate into your nightly routine if you want to live a long and fulfilling life is practicing gratitude and reflection. As we age, it's easy to get caught up in worries about health, family, and the future. But taking time before bed to reflect on your day and focus on what you're grateful for can shift your mindset from worry to peace, which has a powerful impact on both your mental and physical health. Practicing gratitude isn't just about making a list of things you're thankful for. It's about truly feeling the appreciation for what's in your life. Research has shown that gratitude has numerous health benefits. It can lower blood pressure, reduce stress, improve sleep, and even boost your immune system. In fact, people who regularly practice gratitude report fewer physical symptoms of illness, better sleep quality, and a more positive outlook on life. Before you go to bed each night, try to take a few moments to reflect on the day. What went well? What small moments brought you joy? Maybe it was a phone call with a friend, a beautiful sunset, or simply the fact that you had time to relax and enjoy a good book. These little moments can add up to a feeling of deep contentment, which promotes better rest and a more positive mindset as you face each new day. You can incorporate gratitude into your nightly routine in a number of ways. Some people like to keep a gratitude journal by their bed and write down three things they're thankful for each night. Others prefer to reflect silently, mentally noting the positive aspects of their day. However you choose to do it, the key is to really focus on the feeling of gratitude allowing yourself to experience the warmth and calm that comes from appreciating the good in your life. Reflecting on your day doesn't just improve your mood. It helps you wind down and clear your mind of any lingering stress or anxiety that could interfere with your sleep. And better sleep means your body has more time to repair itself, boost immunity, and regulate essential hormones. When you go to bed feeling grateful, your body responds by relaxing, lowering stress hormones like cortisol, 
and creating the perfect environment for deep, restorative sleep. This habit may seem simple, but the long-term benefits are profound. Cultivating a positive, grateful mindset not only improves your emotional well-being, but also strengthens your resilience against life's inevitable challenges. It can even help you live longer by reducing stress-related health issues and promoting a sense of peace and fulfillment. So tonight, before you close your eyes, take a few minutes to reflect on the day's blessings, no matter how big or small. Let go of any negative thoughts and allow yourself to drift off to sleep with a heart full of gratitude. By doing so, you're setting yourself up for a longer, healthier and more fulfilling life. 5. Limit Screen Time Before Bed the fifth and final habit that you should adopt if you want to live a long, healthy life is limiting screen time before bed. In today's world, we're constantly surrounded by screens, TVs, smartphones, tablets, and computers. While technology has many benefits, using screens right before bed can have a negative impact on your sleep and overall health, especially as you age. Here's why. The blue light emitted from screens interferes with your body's natural production of melatonin, the hormone responsible for regulating your sleep cycle. Melatonin helps your body recognize when it's time to wind down and prepare for rest. But when you expose yourself to artificial light late in the evening, particularly from screens, it confuses your internal clock. This makes it harder to fall asleep. And over time, poor sleep can lead to more serious health problems like heart disease, memory issues and weakened immunity. Sleep is crucial for your body's ability to repair itself, regulate hormones and keep your brain functioning at its best. When you don't get enough quality sleep, your body doesn't have the time it needs to heal and regenerate. This can lead to increased inflammation, higher stress levels, and a greater risk of chronic conditions like diabetes and high blood pressure. By reducing screen time before bed, you're giving your body the opportunity to rest properly and protect itself from long-term health issues. To protect your sleep, try to limit screen use at least an hour before you go to bed. Instead of scrolling through social media or watching TV, opt for more calming activities that help signal to your body that it's time to rest. You could read a book, listen to calming music, or engage in a relaxing hobby like knitting or journaling. These activities help you unwind without disrupting your natural sleep cycle. If you find it difficult to avoid screens completely, consider adjusting the settings on your devices to reduce blue light. Many smartphones and tablets have a night mode feature that changes the screen's color to a warmer tone, which is less disruptive to melatonin production. You can also invest in blue light blocking glasses to minimize the impact of screen exposure if you must use a device in the evening. Making this change may feel challenging at first, but the benefits are well worth it. Better sleep means better health. Your body will have the time it needs to restore itself. Your mind will be clearer and you'll feel more energized throughout the day. This simple habit can make a huge difference in your quality of life, especially as you get older. So, if you want to live a longer, healthier life, start limiting your screen time before bed. Your body will thank you for the better sleep, and over time, you'll notice the positive effects on your overall health and well-being. It's one of the simplest changes you can make, but it has one of the biggest impacts on your long-term health. As we come to the end of today's video, let's take a moment to reflect on the five simple but powerful habits we've discussed. These habits may seem small, but each one has a significant impact on your health, your sleep, and your overall well-being, especially as you get older. Incorporating deep breathing or meditation, stretching, avoiding late-night eating, practicing gratitude, and limiting screen time before bed can help you not only sleep better, but live a longer, healthier life. The truth is, longevity isn't just about genetics or luck. It's about the choices you make every day and the routines you create to take care of yourself. 
These five habits are easy to adopt, and the best part is, they can all be done in the comfort of your home, right before you go to bed. Remember, it's never too late to make positive changes in your life. Whether you're 65, 75, or 85, these habits can help you feel more energized, more at peace, and more in control of your health. By taking care of your mind, body, and spirit before bed, you're giving yourself the best chance to wake up feeling refreshed and ready to make the most of each day. If any of these habits resonated with you, or if you're planning to add them to your nightly routine, I'd love to hear from you. Comment below with, I'm a rare gem, because that's exactly what you are. Someone who values their health and is committed to living a long, fulfilling life. I'll be reading through your comments, and I'll heart one of them, because your journey toward better health is something worth celebrating. Thank you for watching, and remember, the road to 100 years starts with the small, intentional steps you take every day. Until next time, take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next video.